And recent testimony by the chairman of the FCC has raised some questions about a recent project by the agency. On America's Neil W. McCabe has more from Washington. Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn told One American News she was stunned to learn that an FCC official spent $100 million on a personal project involving rural broadband. It was a topic she raised at the Technology and Communications Subcommittee hearing with FCC Chairman Thomas Wheeler by showing him a speech given by the FCC's Jonathan Chambers about an idea he had. I asked communities around the country to make proposals about how to build broadband. I got the FCC to give us a little tiny bit of money for this experiment, $100 million. It's tiny money, trust me. Mr. Chairman, were you aware of this presentation and aware that he was um, discussing $100 million as a tiny amount of money? Because I can assure you to my constituents in Tennessee, it is not a tiny amount of money. Uh, I am unaware. I, uh, you just gave me a new piece of information. I had not seen that video, uh, nor had I heard a report of this presentation. The Congresswoman said she was also stunned to learn that the FCC had $100 million lying around to fund such projects. Oh, we've got a, this little tiny amount of money to do this experiment in rural broadband expansion. Oh, the money, it's only $100 million. What Blackburn said that she and other members of the subcommittee were concerned that projects such as this rural broadband project were outside the scope of the FCC. Our role is oversight and keeping the FCC focused on their mission and what they are continually trying to do is go play in somebody else's sandbox. The broadband does not need the FCC to fix it. It does not need the FCC to change it. All that should be left to the private sector. We do not need the government controlling the Internet. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, Washington.